Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a cool tool to help you update your Intel chipset drivers. I don't know about you, but for me, Intel chipset drivers have always been the bane of my existence. If only there was an easy solution like the AMD drivers, that would make life so much easier. Now, I know there is the DSA, which is the download assistant for drivers, but it's not really good. Uh, quite often, it misses drivers, and often the drivers are actually significantly out of date. Unless, for some reason, weirdly, it's the Wi-Fi driver. It loves updating the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers. But the others, it basically kind of omits. Now, this tool we're going to be looking at today is an open source project, which has been uh, sent to me, actually. The guy reached out on an email and said, would you like to try this, uh, see what it's like? So, yeah, had a little bit of research, and uh, it appears to be the real deal. And this is going to be great for pretty much all Intel chipsets, from pretty much Sandy Bridge all the way up to 14th Gen. Unfortunately, when it goes past that into kind of like the Intel 800 series motherboards, they have a very different way of doing drivers, and basically it's done through Windows Update. So you don't necessarily have that kind of chipset driver setup. You can download it, but generally it's just done through Windows Update, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Anyway, I'm waffling on now. Let's head to the computer, and we'll take a closer look at this tool and uh, see if it actually does what it says on the tin. Okay, so we're on our little PC here. So this is actually a 12th gen Intel. It's a 12400 which has been doing a fine job in the front room as a media center PC, but to be honest with you, I don't use it a great deal. So I figured, let's just try this and see what it's like. So we've gone over to the GitHub page. So this is first ever tech. This is the universal Intel chipset updater, as you can see here, and we've got all the information there. So everything you could possibly want to know about this is here. So feel free to take a look at this at your own leisure. There will be links in the video description. But basically, it's automating your Intel chipset driver updates. So uh, enhanced platform detection. You've got improved user communication, smart exclusion system, and better date handling. There's been technical updates, bug fixes, all sorts. And also, for those of you who are worried about security, then it's been uh, independently audited. And it gets some uh, pretty excellent scores. And also, I did take the liberty of going over to Virus Total with the file and get rid of that uh, just to check it out so this is the file itself and as you can see there yeah it's uh absolutely fine completely clean clean bill of health but obviously if you want to go through and take a look yourself then uh, please go ahead and do so the choice is entirely up to you so anyway that is uh pretty much the gist of it so let's go to the latest release here on the release page and we'll download the chips updater just click on the link there Again, this will be in the video description for you if you want to take a look at that. And if we go into our downloads folder, we're going to right click on it and choose run as administrator. Now, obviously this is going to come up because it hasn't had a uh, publisher certificate because those things are darn expensive and for sort of open source tools like this, it very rarely happens. So that's absolutely fine. So click on run anyway, because we've already checked it with the virus total. You'll get the user account control stuff come up. So click on yes. And then we've got starting the tool. So actually we can close that in the background. We don't need that or that. So here we go. So now it's starting the hardware detection and version analysis. So this is very exciting stuff. Let's see, uh, see what happens. So it says find three Intel chipset devices, downloading the latest INF information and then parsing. So yeah, the older lake stuff. So current version and latest version is what it's got there. So it says status already on the latest version. So it seems we're actually we're up to date already. So that's uh, pretty good. It says there, all platforms are up to date. Do you want to force reinstall this INF files anyway? So we are actually up to date. I have done a Windows update on this pretty recently anyway. So yeah, we'll, uh, we'll do it anyway. We'll force a reinstall. What this will do is also it will perform a system restore point just in case. So if you do want to roll back after, you certainly can do, but we'll uh, let it do that. So press Y and enter. And again, it's going to come up with the update confirmation, the system preparations. So it says there, the int files update process may take several minutes to complete. During installation, the screen may temporarily go black and some devices may temporarily disconnect as PCI bus INF files are being updated. This is completely normal behavior and the system will return to normal operation once the installation is complete. Do you want to proceed with the INF files update? Yes, we do. So yes, and enter. And that's it. So as you can see there, it has created a system restore point. 
and now it's doing all the bits that it needs to do in the background so again for my system it's pretty up to date anyway but if you've got a maybe you just built a system using some old board which you've picked up off ebay or facebook marketplace whatever it might be or you just don't want to go through all the hassle of doing the usual go to the intel website or go to the motherboard manufacturer's website download all the individual drivers and do it that way you can just do it this way might be a lot simpler for you may not be perfect for everyone but i think it's definitely well worth a look so anyway we'll let it carry on doing what it needs to do and we'll come back when it's finished and there we go that's come to the end now so it says there uh, it's all done successfully installed computer restart is required to complete the inf installation and you've got a summary and also what it does as well the it downloads the files to a folder on your c drive and then when it's done it actually deletes them for you as well so it actually cleans up behind itself which is awesome it says there operation has completed successfully inf files update process completed if you have any issues with this tool please report them at and you've got a link there to the github repository and basically it just says press the key so we'll press the key and there basically just says thank you for using it etc if you want to help support them those are the links to do it or if you want to contribute you can head over to uh, github and it will automatically close very shortly so that is it it's done happy days we didn't need to really get very involved at all and if we look in device manager i'm pretty sure it's going to say that everything is absolutely fine anyway yes it absolutely is so yeah all of our drivers are installed and we're all up to date and everything's working great so that's all done and other things you can look at for first ever tech obviously there's the universal intel chipset updater you've also got the universal intel wi-fi and bluetooth updater so if you've got integrated bluetooth and wi-fi you can use that as well there's also some patches there for adobe etc but yeah certainly check it out uh, first ever tech from milton Keynes in the uk so the website as well if you want to visit it is there www.firstever.tech and marcin is his name so yeah feel free to check it out see what you think and hopefully it will help you out with those intel chipset nightmares so there you go a potentially useful tool for some of you out there on the intel platforms again especially some of you on the older platforms or if you're a pc flipper and you're getting some old of these really nice old intel boards picking them up for dirt cheap in building systems safe faffing around with trying to find the right drivers for it maybe just try this tool and see how you get on so if you are going to do that let us know how you get on in the comments section below if you've got any other comments or questions feel free to let me know or alternatively field them to first ever tech and hopefully they'll have some answers for you but i think that's going to pretty much wrap this one up hopefully you enjoyed the video if you have smash the like button if you want to see more content like this on a daily basis maybe consider hitting subscribe and also that chime notification that way you'll be notified of future video releases but for now i've been mike this is mike's unboxing reviews now too and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video Thanks for watching.